I don't mean to alarm you, but we're witnessing the Fuji Eterna way of life right now, straight out of camera. Didn't even have to tweak it. And it makes me nervous for the future of all other camera systems. Olympus just fell because Eterna exists. So today we talk Fuji life. Will I abandon the system? And we have a secret lens that Fuji doesn't want you to know about. The speed map... Oh, God. Fuji, you had... We practiced this. this. Or did it do it? I can't even see it. Oh, God. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. All I'm gonna say is before I press record, I was doing this and it was jumping so fast and so like disgustingly that I couldn't believe it. It's completely different when you press record. That's beautiful. So in my honest opinion, we're about 15 firmware updates away from being the perfect camera here. I just, I cannot get it to work. No matter what settings I choose, no matter which lens, it's very, very amateur looking. Unless you take full control, manual focus, manual exposure, then you get the best thing you've ever seen straight out of camera. Beautiful colors, 10-bit glory, Fuji, cult-like status. But if you want to just vlog in the street like a scrub, asking the camera to do things for you, it's like giving your grandmother a list. Can you go pick up these weights, these heavy weights for me? Granny, why can't you do that? You can bake, you can't lift. Fuji has amazing skin exposure, but to get there, it leaps like a frog would. And it's just flashes of light everywhere and just noticeable dramatic shifts in the fourth dimension that you can sense as you're witnessing it. Autofocus leaps, leaps all around, and freaky lens breathing leaps. So this is a manual focus lens, the Mitocon 35mm Tony 1, not even one, 0.95 of a one. It's a manual focus lens, so there's zero chance I'm going to hit focus because Fuji doesn't have a full-size HDMI cable. I just got a nice long one, I could have hooked it up to my monitor, we'd be good. Now I have to use a tiny little thing that probably doesn't even have battery life. That's going to hurt. So let's switch it up. Can he nail focus? 0.95 of a tone. My God, I wasn't prepared for it. The beauty that comes out of this lens, much like a butterfly flying up a waterfall, trying to reach its mother. On the first day it was born, they met. That's when they meet. Oh, the beauty, the cinema. We nailed it. We nailed it. I still it. There's green things in my eyes. Peeking. Confirmed. Oh, no. We're gone. We're gone hard. The tone. I had to stop the shutter down like 19 stops to compensate for the glory hood. 0.95 versus a Tony 2? This little cute boy. Where is it? Where's my lens cap? Oh, God. Why the hell did... I overreacted on that one. It's just a lens cap. Dust actually doesn't do much to the image. Degrading fingerprints, on the other hand. Thank you, DP Review. Is it sharp wide open? Because usually my old Mitocon wide open at 0.95 was like soft as dicks. It also had no contrast whatsoever. It was very, it was flattering. But just it looks so washed out. I kept getting complaints on it. It's like, this is terrible. You know that, right? But it's 0.95. It's the only way a Micro Four Loser sensor can compete in today's world. And I did compete, but it was terrible. Whereas this feels like it's sharp and contrasty, wide open, better than any Fuji lens. Who would get a 35 Tony 2 when this is available? It's heavier, it's hard to focus. But when you nail it, such as I have, the cinema awaits you, awaits your brotherhood. Now, I'm sorry to have misled you into thinking this was the maximum tone possible on this lens. Be real with yourself. Let's show you that. It's just a simple matter of bringing it closer. 
closer and refocusing easily enough. Even though Steven Spielberg has been executed, he would have called me. That's, that's insider information. That was a leak. Sure, the mic placement is now off axis in a fashionably late like fashion. Can we remedy that one without ruining the audio? Can you hear this? Can you hear all this? Now, I'm going to have to apologize once more into having you think that this was the most tone you could possibly get on this system because it's just not true. Magic is real, my friend. You don't have to go to a forest to find a witch. You just bring it to your own hood. What if we stop down? I, I know it's illegal. I know I'm gonna get arrested for this, but. Stepless aperture ring, by the way. That's illegal, don't do it. Now I hate to have to do this to you again, but this isn't the actual maximum tone allowed. It can get worse. Oh my god. Oh, uh, teenage girl skin, definitely not confirmed. Oh, I'm greasy, every pore. This is terrible for business. This was a terrible business decision. <laughs> that is insane how close you can focus with this thing. It seems like it's so sharp too, wide open. 0.95, like this is the best lens ever made. If you could handle the annoyance, it's possible though to nail critical focus with your foot. What a fantastic lens. What a fantastic little lens. It's just such a pain in the ass. Now at this decent focal length, we're pushed way back. It's so hard to focus. You can do it. I think I nailed it, but this is why I started my channel because this was basically what I had. A 50 mil equivalent manual focus only lens and it was such a pain in the ass. I was like, oh man, I wish I could autofocus. Why didn't I buy the Canon ADD? Oh, I should have. I probably wouldn't even have started a channel if I bought that. It would so perfect. I would have bought one of those Sigma lenses eventually. We wouldn't even have cared about cameras. It's like, yeah, we already got it. It's perfect. I couldn't vlog with it though. Take that. So I'm going to switch to the 23 mil and let's see if the image quality degrades the magic that we're faced with right now. Just the separation. What's back there? It's like a different 3D dimensional reality. The tone. Oh God. Oh, oh, I'm seeing it. Oh, there's stuff back there. I'm just a boy. I gotta tell you, I don't know what to do with this. I have this system. I could return it for store credit at Camera Canada. So I'll go to Camera Canada. And then put that towards an R6, maybe, or the Sony A7S III, Mark 15. I don't know what to do. I like it, but there's too much jumpy, weird stuff. Unless it's not happening anymore. I feel like out on the street, the Fuji is not the way to go in auto mode. Can't do it. If you lock exposure and focus, some of these lenses, the 14 mil, that's not even it. The 14 mil Tony 2.8 has a manual focus clutch. So technically, I mean, you're pretty close. You focus and then you can lock the exposure and then you got a pretty decent looking video, but at none of the ease of use expenses. Then you got your sleeper lens here, the 18 Tony 2. It does jump drastically when focusing on things. Not there. It's loud, grinding motors, but... And it went to the background, slowly coming back to me. Why did it do that? Why do you do it? So I'm just not sure where this stands in my collection. It's not the best for outdoors. The Olympus EM-13 is better in every way for vlogging. More stable, autofocus doesn't freak out, and the exposure changes are gradual. There's nothing jarring that you're seeing like, oh, what are you filming on? Whereas the Fuji's like, you're probably seeing it now. And then in the studio, is it better than the S1? You get the Voigtlander, 
eh, some people did prefer, I actually did prefer the look of it. So I could see that replacing the S1. And if the autofocus lenses perform in here, then yeah, it's the better studio camera than the S1, even though it's not full frame. Wow, Fuji should have went full frame. It's hard to describe, but Fuji, it's like a love-hate relationship. I want this to work more than any other camera for some reason. There's something in here that's magic, pure Fuji magic, cult-like magic, that I just like, yeah, this is the one, but why? You ignore all the downsides of it, the stepping auto exposure and the jumping autofocus. You don't mind it, but I do. I really do, but I think it could work. So. We're rambling, we learn nothing. What a fantastic lens though, this thing. If you can put up with the terror of getting yourself in focus. And if you have teenage girl skin, then you're good to go. Don't get too close like I did. There should be a warning on that thing. I'm gonna leave. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.